Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Blind75. It's called Design Add and Search Words Data Structure. So what are we being asked? We want to design a data structure that supports adding new words and finding if a string matches any previously added string. We want to implement the word dictionary class. We're going to initialize the object first and then we have an add word function which is going to add the word to the data structure where it can be matched later on. And we also have a Boolean function called search, which is going to return true if there is any string in the data structure that matches word or false otherwise. Word may contain dots where dots can be matched with any letter. So we have a wildcard here. Now, before getting into this problem, if you are unfamiliar with what a try data structure is or a prefix tree, I highly recommend doing that problem or watching that video first. I have it linked down below if you do want to check it out. But basically, when we are building out our data structure, we're just going to be implementing a try data structure, going letter by letter, building out a tree and searching in that. So how is that going to actually look like? So for our data structure, we're starting out by adding the word bad. So for that, we are first going to create our word dictionary. And within it, we're going to add in the letter B. Now, this is the first character we want to add in the remaining character. So the next character is going to be A, and that's just going to be a child of B. This is similar to the left and right children of any tree that we have, a binary tree. However, here we have more than just two left and right children. We have potentially 26. So instead of having 26 children, we're just going to create a dictionary every single time. So we have B and then we have A. And then to A, we also want to add in a D. So we're creating a new child dictionary of all the children and to it we're adding in d so this is our word b a d now we also want to add in say d a d so for that we're doing the same thing we're going to add in a d over here it doesn't exist yet then to its child we're going to add in an a then underneath a's children in that dictionary we're just going to add in a d so now we have d a d now say we wanted to add in m a d we're going to do the same thing again so it's going to be m followed by a followed by d now what if we wanted to add an M-A-T-S? We already have an M, so we don't need to add anything there. We already have an A, so nothing to add over here. But to A's child, this children dictionary, we want to add in a T. So we're going to add in a T over here. This is another node that A is going to have. And to T's children, we're going to add in an S. So we have M-A-T-S. So if we were to search if M-A-T-S was a word, we'd go in M. We'd see all his children, we see A in there, then we would check all of A's children, we have T, and then within T we have an S, so that would be true. Now, what if we searched for Matt, M-A-T? Remember, we only added in D-A-D, B-A-D, M-A-D, and then M-A-T-S. But we will notice M-A-T existing because it was a substring of a bigger word that we added. So if we see it, we can't return true which means we're going to need another variable keeping track of whether or not we are a word at every single character that we add in. which means in our data structure, we're going to have a node that is going to have a dictionary for its children, as well as a Boolean indicating whether or not we are a word. So more accurately, our entire structure would look like the following. In our dictionary, every single character is also going to have a Boolean value indicating whether or not we are a word. So D is false d was not a word we added entirely we added in dad which means over here is where we're actually going to mark it to be true and every single node or character that we add is also going to have its own dictionary every single time so this is what it's going to look like now for this we want to initialize our try object so let's create a new class for that so class try node initializing this is going to be def init in self and we want two things we want our children dictionary and a boolean whether or not we are a word so self.children is going to be a dictionary and self.word is going to start off with false everything in the beginning is going to be false now once we actually create our word dictionary we want to create this node so we're going to have self.root be a try node so at this point we've created our root which is going to have a children of dictionary and word being false now how do we add in words for adding a word, this is actually pretty simple. We know we want to start off at this root. So currently we are starting out on this root. Now, in order to add any word, we want to go character by character. So we're just looping through for character in word. We want to see if the character we have exists in this children dictionary and say we're starting over, right? We're not using this example. We're over here. We want to add in bat. The character we start with is going to be B. And we want to see if B exists in this root's children. If not, we just want to add it in. So if character not in cur.children, we simply want to create it. 
So what we're going to do is add it to children. And this is just a dictionary, so we're just going to add it in as a key. So per.children, in this dictionary, we're adding in a key of our character B. So we're adding in B over here, and it's going to equal its own try node. So it's going to be try node. So right now, B is going to be false by default, and it's also going to have its own children's dictionary. So now this is the children's dictionary of B. Now that this is created, we want to add in the remaining characters we have. So we want to keep going down. Right now, we are currently at this root. So we're going to set our new root to be this B that we just added in. So current is going to equal current.children of this character that we're on. So current now points to this B object, which is marked false as a word and has its own children dictionary. We just go back in this loop and we keep adding in the remaining character. So we go back in this loop now that current is B and we search for the next character, which was A. We're adding in BAT, remember? So for A, we see that it doesn't exist in current.children. So we're going to do the same thing, just adding it in. So current.children of A is going to be its own try node. So it's going to be initialized to false and have its own children dictionary. Once that's done, we're setting current to be current.children of that character, which is A. So current is now going to be here. And going in this one last time, our character is now going to be T. T is not in this dictionary, so we're just adding it in. So we create a new try node for T. We move current down. And now it's at this object over here. Now that we've added it in, we want to make sure we don't forget marking this as a word. So current.word is going to be true, which means this is now true. BAT marks a word. Now say we call add word again with BA. So calling this again with BA, current is going to be root again. We're going to be looping through all the characters. We start off with B. B is in our children. So all we do is move current down to be B. Now, once we're here, we're going to go back in this for loop for our next character. We're adding in the word BA. And we see that A is also in the dictionary that we have. So we just move current down to be A. And we're going to mark this now to be true. So, so far in our dictionary, we have BAT and BA. So this is add. Now, how do we search? So for searching for a word, we know we want to search character by character down a path in a tree, which is a dead giveaway that we want to be using DFS. For DFS, I find it easier writing it within this larger function. So let's write it within this search. So def of DFS, we're going to be passing in an index i for which character we are on. We're going to be checking different characters of word i. So to keep track of that, it's going to be i over here and whatever our current root is. Now, say we are searching for mat and let's go back to this example over here, right? We have mad, mats, bad, dad. And if we're searching for mat, we see it in this dictionary. So we are going to be able to get to it. But mat, t is not actually a word. So we're going to have to return false. So if i equals the length of the word, if we're at that very last index, that last character we need to be at, we're just going to return whether or not we are a word at that point. So we're going to return root dot word. And if that's not the case, if we still have more characters to go through, we're going to check what character we're on. So if word of i equals a dot, if it is our wild card, we need to check all possibilities. We're just going to go through all of the values in our children dictionary and search all of them. So we're looping through for letter in root.children.values and we're going to call DFS again. So if DFS of I plus one, we're going to check the next index for whatever letter we are on right now, passing in letter, one of the values that we need to be checking. Of this entire path returns true. So say, for example, we're searching for MA.S. We see an M, we see an A. For dot, we can be searching D or T. And say we search T, we do see an S. So this is going to return true. So when we go back up to our caller, we need to be returning true, right? So if this is true, we return true. Let's say we actually didn't have an S over here. This is going to return false up here. And we continue with our loop, right? We check D, we check T. If there's anything else, we'll check that. If they all don't return true, then we never found anything and we're going to return false. Now, if our character is not a dot, that means there's a specific character we're looking for. So else, we want to see if that character exists in our children's dictionary. If it doesn't, we're going to return false. So if word of i not in root.children, we return false. Say we are searching for bbc. We see we have a b in here. Then we check over here b, that character we're looking for doesn't exist in the dictionary of children. So we're going to return false. Now, if that's not the case, if we are looking for BAD, 
we are at A over here, we saw B, we're now at A. Now we wanna check for that next character. So we're gonna call DFS again with I plus one and root dot children of word of I. So whatever that node is for that character we're on, whatever that entire tree node becomes. And we wanna be returning this, whether it is true or false. And that's it for our DFS function. We do wanna be calling this, so we're gonna be returning DFS, passing in zero, and our solf.root that we had defined up here, so solf.root. And let's go ahead and submit this first. Runtime error root not defined. That's because this should have been solf.root. Okay, now let's go ahead and submit this. Wrong answer. Okay, now let's see what's going on. Oh, this over here, we actually want to be returning false after we are finished checking all the letters. So this is the problem over here. Now let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. So we did do a walkthrough with add word. Now let's see how to do search word. We're just gonna go through a couple examples going through our code line by line. Okay, say we are back with this example over here and we are looking for the word M, just the word M. We're gonna pass in M in search. We define our DFS and then we call DFS with zero and solve.root. Passing in zero in this structure over here. We go in here initially, zero is not equal to the length of the word and the word here was m, m has a length of one, so we don't return. We check if word of zero, so whatever we have that first index is a dot, it is not, so we go in this else. And now we're checking if word of i, so word of index zero, that character is m, if it's not in root.children, that's false, it is in root.children, so we don't return false yet. And instead we're gonna return dfs of i plus one, of root.children of word of i. So word of index zero is m. Root.children of m is going to be this node over here. And we want to call this again. So we are back in this function. We're calling this with i being one because this was i plus one. And we're calling this with root of m. We are now at the root of m, which is its own trinode. It has its own Boolean of whether or not it's a word in its own dictionary. So in here we go make a check if i equals length of word i is one and the length of our word was also one so that's true and we just want to return whether or not we are a word right now so checking our roots boolean this is false so we're going to return false now say we made another call to search and we were calling it with ma.s what would we do now again we would just define our function we would call this with the zero and solve.root so going in this function, we make a check. I is not equal to the length of word. The length here is four. So now we're going to check what character we have. Word of I, word at index zero is M. It's not a dot. So we're in this else. And we want to see if M is not in root.children. That's not true. M is here. So we don't return false. Instead, we make a call. So we're back in our DFS function with I being one and root being M. We're checking I is not equal to length of word. Word at I, so word at index one is A. It's not a dot. So we're in this else. A does exist in root.children. M.children is this dictionary over here and A is in it. So we're not returning false and now we're checking for another character. So now we're calling DFS again with I plus one, which makes this two and root.children of word of I. So originally root was M, root.children was this and word of I was A. So now we're passing in A as its own object. So in here again, I is not equal to length of word. Word of I, word at index two is a dot so we are in this if condition and now what we want to do is check out all the letters so for letter in root.children.values so root.children is over here these are all the values that we have we have an object of d and an object of t we're just going to try them all out so say as we loop through the first letter we're trying is d which means we're going to call dfs with i plus one and d this means we are in this function again i is now three and root is d we're testing this out Word of I is not a dot, it's S. This is what we have at index three. And we're in this else condition over here. Now we wanna check word of I. So we wanna check if S is in root.children. S is not in here, so this is going to return false. So we return to our caller, we return false. This is not true, so we don't go in this if condition. We go back in our for loop, checking the next letter. So now we're gonna be checking T, which means we're calling DFS again with I plus one and root being T. We, if this is true, then we would return true. So Calling this again, right? I is not equal to the length of word, which is four. We now check the character we have at I, which is S. It's not a dot, so we're in this else. And we wanna see if S exists in root.children. It does, so we don't return false. And instead we're gonna call this again. 
So this time, once we go back to DFS, I is going to equal the length of our input. So we just need to return whether or not we are a work. So M-A-T-S, this over here is true. So we're going to return true and we're going to return that to our caller. So returning true over here, we go back over here, returning true. Since this does return true, we return true overall and it just bubbles all the way back up to our original caller. So M-A-S is going to be true. So we just went ahead and solved design, add, and search words data structure. We did a couple example walkthroughs, but if you have any questions with this whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I'll answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe, or at least for the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.